Hello, I'm Mike from MusicRadioCreative.com. I've recently been preparing a load of trailer videos for our conference coming up in September 2015 called New Media Europe. In this video, I'll show you how to create an amazing trailer video using Adobe Premiere Pro, Adobe After Effects, and Adobe Audition. So first we're going to start out in After Effects. That will help me to create the WYSI intro and outro graphics that you'll see at the start and finish of the trailer video. Uh, now, of course, if you know exactly what you're doing, you can create your own fantastic graphics in Adobe After Effects. But I've downloaded a template and you can do so as well and customize it to your likings. In fact, I'll post some links in the description to this video with more details. So go into slide 8, that's the one I know I need to customize. As you can see, it's been customized before. So I just simply select the first bit of text and I type in my new speaker here, Phil Palin, like so. And then I'm going to go to Chrome and I'm going to grab his website address to make sure that's correct. And select the second line and then just make sure I select all the text and paste it in with Command V on my Mac there. So I've got his name and his website ready to appear in the final rendering, which you'll see here in a kind of pixelated form, roughly what it's going to look like, uh, because of course it requires a lot of processing power. So it's kind of not doing it in real time on my Mac right now. But what I then do is go into File, Export, Add to Render Queue, which it will do immediately there. Let's just delete that. That's an old rendering. And you can see that's the one that I'm going to render there. Best settings, lossless, want it to be as high quality as possible. Now I've got to select where I want to render to. So I'm just going to render the final product to the desktop so I know exactly where that is. And then I click Render. This will take a little while to process. So I'm going to speed up the video now. And there you go, there's that lovely sound that you get when the rendering has completed. So that means you don't have to watch it rendering like I did just then. It took around nine minutes to do that sequence. You can be off doing other things on your computer, or you can even go away and make yourself a cup of coffee. Next, we'll take that sequence and put it into Premiere Pro. Okay, so now you'll see that the event announcement intro and outro that I've got rendered in After Effects is in my little project for New Media Europe. I can actually drag that straight across into the sequence over here and take a look at how that looks for you. So it's just going to import there. There you go. It's on uh, track video one and the audio is on audio one. If I actually use my scroll wheel here, you'll be able to see the audio there. Straight away, I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to unlink the clips um, as if I don't unlink the clips then it will delete everything I just want to delete the audio not the video so now I can just get rid of that uh, enhancement there and just quickly scrub through so you can see what it looks like there you go at a glance there is my intro and outro so now I need to chop that up to fit my needs so I'm going to uh, zoom in on that and take a look at exactly what I can do so let's do that now and first of all, I want to start off with this at around about here. So the best thing about Premiere Pro is that when you're scrubbing along, you can see exactly and see there it snaps as well. So you can see exactly where you're scrubbing to. So let me move that bar and then I can just trim that to be exactly where I want it to be, which is just where the name appears on the screen. And for the intro, it's going to end around about there where the name disappears just before New Media Europe comes into focus. So let me just move that in now. Uh, and then I'm going to pull that in again. And again, unlink here and delete the audio track as I'll be using separate audio tracks that you can see there already in my project. And then I want to get this so that it floats back in. So from about there, in fact, let's do it this way around. So I'm just dragging now to match there we go, that's the start of the sequence. And then the end of the sequence will be just about there, where it all goes dark, where everything has finished. And that'll be my outro. So then in between the intro and outro, I want to put the actual content, which is the trailer video that Phil Palin has recorded for us. So let's pop that in again. That goes on video track two. And the audio, you'll see there, if I zoom in a little bit, you'll see Phil's audio is all there on audio track two. Two. Now, what I'm going to do first and foremost is a really cool thing that you can do with Adobe Premiere Pro. You can hop straight over to my favorite piece of software, Adobe Audition. If I right click and then I want to go to edit clip in Adobe Audition, what this will do is seamlessly render and replace that audio. 
here we go boom and there you go it's in adobe audition now if you followed some of my previous tutorials on my channel you will no doubt be extremely familiar with this in interface so all i need to do now is do a little bit of tidying up so let's listen to phil's audio hey everyone my name is phil palin Okay, as you can hear, it's been recorded outdoors. So I think what I might be able to do on that is add a little bit of EQ, perhaps some light compression as well, just to bring the audio up so that it's easy to hear it, particularly as I'm going to have a very loud intro and outro on to make sure that Phil's audio matches that. So let's do that now. First, we'll head into my favorite effects menu, filter and EQ, and I'm going to go for the parametric equalizer then I can easily isolate the frequencies that I want to enhance or possibly take out. So let's start playing the audio now and playing around with this. Hey everyone, my name is Phil Palin and I'm from Los Angeles and I have touched down in England and I'm so excited for New Media Europe. I'm coming and speaking and delivering some of my strategies on building your personal brand. These are some of the techniques I've used on some of the biggest stars uh, and shows. X Factor, American Idol, Project Runway, Dancing with the Stars, all kinds of fun shows I've had the chance to work on. But now I get to bring these strategies to you. What do you need to know to position your brand, build your brand, and then promote it using the right strategies? That's what I'll be covering. There we go. So as you can hear now, that is Phil with a bit of EQ on his voice. And what I've done is I've had a little bit of treble, but taken off the high range there. There was uh, just a little bit too much high range on his voice. And also, as you'll hear, there was a little bit of wind in the audio. So again, I've knocked off a bit of the bass to uh, cancel out as much as I possibly can that wind rumble that you heard there on the microphone. Then I'll go back into effects, and I think I'm going to use amplitude and compression. And here I will most likely use the dynamics process just to level out Phil's voice. One of my favorite presets is the boomy kick. Hey everyone, my name is Phil Palin and I'm from Los Angeles and I have touched down- I might down. put a bit of a gate on as well. Hey everyone, my name is Phil Palin and I'm from Los Angeles and I have touched down in England and I'm so excited for New Media Europe. I'm coming okay, and speaking and I'm going to pull that back and apply that. Hey everyone, my name is... And as you can see, a slight difference there. If I undo that, you'll see how this audio is very much pulled up. So let's put that back on again. Redo dynamics. And you can see, yes, now we've got a level bit of audio, which then all I need to do is save it. So I can go into the file and save menu. And then when I get back into Premiere Pro, immediately that audio is updated to match. How cool is that? So basically you can do that with any audio on any clip you have in Premiere Pro. Right click, edit clip in Adobe Audition. You edit it, you save it, and it's back in your Premiere Pro sequence, which I think is really, really cool. And these are some of the techniques I've used on some of the- And as you can see, it matches his video as well. Now I'm gonna put in my audio here and I've got a nice little speaker intro, uh, bit of audio here, which I can match up to the event announcement intro. Let's take a look at the audio here. So I probably want to just move this along a little bit just so that we've got it so that the the tail of that intro sting ends as everything zooms out there. So maybe back a little bit more. Okay, and then let's move Phil along a bit. Hey, and again, the, the beauty of this is now what I might do is move the event announcement onto video track three and then that will overwrite what's on video track two. So I can have this ending and Phil appearing there. Hey, Hey everyone, my name is Phil. See, and that's perfect. So I've just overlapped them a little bit and then the video will just jump in at you. Hey everyone, my name is Phil Palin. Looking fantastic. So now I'm going to cut that in so it matches up with the start of the audio. Super. Uh, and now I just need to go to the end and I need to take obviously the outro here and pop that in. And what I'm gonna use here are a set of effects. So let's pull that in and I need to just trim that up so I get that effect at the end there, which I'm gonna be using. Match that up with my outro sting. And it will be something like this at the end. At my talk at New Media Europe, see you there. Okay, that was a little bit too early. So I'm going to take both of those clips now and select them 
There we go. Hold down the shift to do that. See you there. Perfect. At New Media Europe, see you there. And now that's all synced. Let's check that looks good. Perfect. Okay, so that's all mixed. And as you can see, I mixed all of the video clips and the audio together inside Premiere Pro. I edited audio when I needed to in Adobe Audition. Uh, you just see there flash up on the screen the autosave that Premiere Pro has, which is a fantastic feature in case you lose everything. And of course, the intro and outro stings were created in Adobe After Effects. So the final thing I'll need to do is go into the file menu. And of course I want to export it media. Shortcut to that is Command M on the Mac or Control M on the PC. And then I can choose a preset and I will most likely uh, go for H.264. That's the best format for uploading to places like YouTube and Facebook. And uh, some very handy presets that you've got here, uh, presets from Adobe, YouTube 1080p HD is probably what I'll most likely aim for there. Give it a new name, so I'm gonna save it to the desktop here and I'm gonna call it, so I know exactly what I'm looking for, Phil Palin, without the M at the end, and then click save and export and you're done. So there you go, fantastic visuals, excellent special effects, and high quality audio using three different products in the Adobe Creative Cloud. I hope you found this video handy, and if you did, please feel free to share it with your friends.